um, Worthy Prince is actually quitting Wards Mobile because IGG have, I guess, scammed him, I'd say. I don't really know how else to describe it. But basically what happened was <coughs> about three or so weeks ago from his video's release, I'm not showing anything from that because I've asked him but he hasn't responded yet. But three weeks ago from when his video came out, someone in-game contacted him saying, do you want to get packs for cheaper, right? And everyone obviously wants to save money, especially on a game like this. No one wants to pay the bull crap prices that they have. So he said, yeah, and he found out that if you use the IGG diamond store, which I don't have on this because I don't want to get fucking involved with that bullshit. But the diamond store, so basically it just cuts out the, like, it cuts out the middleman, makes them keep all the money for themselves, yada yada yada. The diamond store is actually, like, on the official IGG website. It's not some scam thing that someone else is running for IGG, it's actually on the IGG website. It's been around for about two years, I think. I've known about it for about a year and a half-ish. Um, yeah, but basically what happened was you could go into it. You'd go, add money. No, like, obvi I can't do it here, but go to add money. Actually, it might come up if I look at this. No, these are the official drop rates. I don't know why that's there. But anyway, you'd go into the diamond store. And then you'd have to buy diamonds. So you go to buy diamonds, and it'll come up with however much it'd be like 99 for one dollar or one pound, whatever. And then what Prince found out was that if you switch your, like, because he set his country to UK, where he's from, if you switch your third party provider that you're paying with to a, com a Turkish bank called GPay. You could get packs at an 80% discount. They're no normally like 100 pounds, which is 699.99 Turkish lira, lira, or however you say it. I'm not sure, but they it was priced at 99.99 Turkish lira, which is about an 80% discount. So what Prince did is he went ahead and he bought 140 packs at £14.70. So, wait, hold on, did I do that right? Yeah, so £14.70, which is 2,058 British, British pounds, right? Instead of paying, like, he should have paid, I think it works out to be roughly 10 grand. Well, 14 grand, sorry. But 13,998 pounds he paid two, 2k for. <coughs> uh, so, 107 of these was successful. So let's go 1470 times 107. So he actually only paid 1572 pounds. But, out of the 33 that failed, IGG did give him the diamonds, they just didn't take the money. He didn't know it had failed until... He saw his receipts, right? So he was getting the rewards for 33 packs. So $485 worth of packs. He got the stuff for without paying for. Right? And then when IGG came to him, said there was a problem, customer support, he was happy to pay the $485. But IGG didn't want that. IGG decided to be greedy and say they want full price for them. So instead of paying four grand like four hundred, he was forced he was being forced to pay nearly three thousand three hundred dollars, right? But no, Prince just didn't want to pay it. He tried talking with them, tried reasoning with them, arguing with them. Nothing worked. But this is that's changing prices is actually illegal if in most of the world. But where IGG is based, it's not. I can't remember where it was. I think it was... I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to say it. Because I don't know if I'm right. But basically, it's illegal everywhere else in the world. 
pretty much. So they've born, gone up the price. Prince isn't paying, so what he did was he went ahead and he went ahead. They went ahead. No, hit not he. They IGG went ahead and restricted Prince's account. So he can't buy any more packs. He can't send people resources. He can't gift people things using his gems. So what he did was he went ahead, destroyed all his mythic gears, all his like pretty much all of his gear, including all his mythic stuff with all his gold jewels. He dismissed all his troops. He dropped about four hundred million might. He went and like bought, I think it was like sixty five thousand one minute speed ups in like 5,000 15 minute ones or something like that used all his gems now with the restriction no I already said that never mind um yeah that's basically it like Prince was willing to pay the 14 pound 70 but IGG just had to be greedy little fucks and demand the full price and I'm pretty sure if I looked up the exchange rate for US dollars to Australian, I'm pretty sure would I'm getting ripped off as well, but I'm not going to go into that. That's for another video, if I make that. Let's just say a lot of people aren't happy. They banned like a bunch of people in POA. They banned, well, not banned, but restricted a bunch of people in POA. They restricted a bunch of accounts. God knows how many paid to get that stuff back. But yeah, it's unfortunate. So that's just about it. I actually looked at his account to see what he had left. And he's just got gray, gray, um, what's he called gear? A gray hero, 400 million might. He dropped from POA and let them zero him, open up all his bags for all his resources. And yeah, Prince is now quit. He's uninstalled the game. The only reason he was able to show this video was because he still has one of his alts, one of his mini accounts, like still working, just because POA used it as like a mini bank or something, I think. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> ah, so Prince is gone. He's not coming back. He dismissed like 27 million troops. Which dropped him about 400 million might. It's sad to see him go. Considering I would have loved to have that account. Even if I couldn't have bought packs on it. Etc. I would have just had loved to have it. Um, yeah. I don't even think he could spend his gems on stuff in it. Oh no, he obviously could. Never mind. <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes. But anyway. Yeah, Prince is gone. I know, I don't know who else was affected by this, like any other YouTubers that were cut out, but I know that YouTubers have been saying that he was pack loading, cheating, etc., which he wasn't. It was literally an IGG advertised price. They did this on their, on their, on their official diamond store, which they run without anyone else. So, this is literally their glitch. And yet they're blaming Prince for ripping them off and trying to make an extra, like, 2,800 pounds out of him. Because they're greedy fuckers. That's it for now. I'm pissed off, so I probably won't be streaming for a few days or anything like that. But, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know what's happening. Explain it to you, in case any of you care. Maybe if we put up enough uproar, we can get Prince's account unrestricted if he ever wants to come back if we do that. I don't know. But that's it for now. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.